In today's video, I will share with you how to install MetaTrader indicators over the chart. I will give you some tips when using indicators. And in front of me, I have the MetaTrader installed using the Black Bull Markets, which is a regulated broker from our trusted brokers page. So if you're ready, because I am, let's go for it. Welcome to the trading channel, it's Petko Alexandrov, a very warm welcome to the video where I will show you how to install MetaTrader indicators over the chart and by the end of the video you will have a better understanding for the indicators in MetaTrader. So the MetaTrader indicators are available on two places on the platform. One is you can insert them from the top menu just on the first spot are the indicators and we have a few that are probably the most common for the broker and then we have the trend indicators, the oscillators, volumes, Bill Williams and custom. With the different brokers you can notice a small difference but these are the common MetaTrader indicators. So how to install MetaTrader indicators? It's super easy, all you need to do is click over one. For example, I will select the Bollinger Bands and here comes the menu. I will close it for a second and I will show you the second option. We have it in the navigator. You see under the accounts we have indicators and here we have them grouped in the very same way. All you have to do is double click or you can drag and drop over the chart and still you will be installing the indicator. So with the different indicators, we have different inputs and period deviations, depends what the MetaTrader indicator is all about and depends if it is a part of your strategy. Now the Bollinger Bands is one of my favorite indicators, a very useful one and it has two parameters, period and deviations. I will leave it by default and I will click on OK and you will see how it looks like. Basically we have those bands that are above and below and we have this kind of moving average going up and down around the price. So if I click one more time on the indicator properties and for example if I decrease the period, let's say I will leave it to 5 and I will click on OK, you will see that it gets much closer to the price, right? The moving average is faster and so the bands are getting closer to the price. Now let me change the deviations instead of 2, I will increase it to 5 and I will click on OK. So what you have noticed is that the moving average didn't change but just the bands went further from the price. Okay, so it really depends on the properties and the parameters that you will be using for each indicator. The visualization over the chart will be different and this depends again I say on the strategy that you will be using. If I increase the deviation to 0.5 for example, I'll click on OK, you will see how small the Bollinger Bands become and it's really just going over the chart. So if I go back to 5, you will see that I can give you variety of strategies that you can apply. But what is interesting about that indicator is that we don't use that much the moving average going through the price, but when the price touches the bands. For example, when the market is just going sideways like this period over here, if the price touches one of the upper bands, it could be a decent sell signal and when it touches the other band we can close the trade and take the profit. For example we can sell over here and we can close the position over here or we can sell as well in this point and close the position at that point. And what you can notice as well is that when the price is going sideways the bands are getting closer to the price and when we have an impulsive move they open and get away from the price. So this is about the Bollinger Band as I took as a random example for the purpose of this video where I wanted to show you how to install the indicators over the chart. Let me remove it and I will add another indicator 
called Magdi. So the Magdi is again a super popular indicator, but what I want to show you is that when we install it on MetaTrader, it displays below the chart. So it's not over the chart like with the moving averages and the Bollinger Bands, it's below the chart in a separate box with a histogram. Okay, we have three things here. One is this red signal line that goes up and down. Then we have the MACD, which on MetaTrader is displayed by bars. And if you imagine connecting those bars, you will see that there is a line that crosses the signal line downwards, then it crosses the signal line upwards, and it gives signals that way. For example, Right over here, you see that the MACD or the bars get above the signal line and they give us a buy signal right over here, okay, at about 113. Then when the MACD gets below the signal line, in this case it is at 117.45, we can close the trade and take profit of over 400 pips in this case, right? Now, if you want to make it more visual, you can always modify the indicators. So you can do it while you install them on MetaTrader or you can later do that from the inputs. Where you have to go is to colors and you can change the silver color, for example, to blue or aqua. You can make it a little bit thicker as well the signal line you can make it thicker so it will be more visual and then if I click on OK you will see the difference, it's much better. So how to install MetaTrader indicators? So you see clearly where the cross is or where the signal is, well that is up to you. It's a personal choice how you will manage the colors over the chart. It's not only the indicators that you can change. If I right click and go to properties, I have the option to change the background. I can change the candlesticks. I can remove the grid from behind. Actually, I like to do that so the chart is clearer and I can put more indicators and I see them better. So do not hesitate to change the colors on the indicators to make them more visual when you install them, but be careful not placing too many indicators over the charts because if you put too many, for example, if I put Bollinger Bands and I make them thicker, okay, and then if I insert, let's say, the alligator because it has a lot of lines and I want to show it to you, here it is. And then if I put, for example, the envelopes and again I make it thicker and I change the color for example to red and if I keep doing that you will see so many lines and indicators over the chart and if I click on colors and I change the thickness and I click on OK you will see more lines over the chart and if I keep doing that I'll be basically hiding the price and a lot of traders did a mistake to overload their charts with so many indicators that at the end of the day don't see the price and from my trading experience I can tell you that the price is what matters the most okay so when I'm building strategies for forex trading I try to keep the rule for two entry indicators that confirm each other and one exit indicator, no more. Sometimes I go to three and maximum four entry indicators and maximum two exit indicators, but with the time I saw that two entry indicators or two indicators that confirm each other for me to open a trade and one indicator to use as a take profit or as a point where I'm closing the trade work best for me, okay? So don't install too many indicators on MetaTrader because it will be harder for you to follow. You can read a lot about all the indicators out there. You will find so many strategies over the internet. So if you wanna put them all in one chart, probably you will mess up. All right, so make it simple just a few indicators for a strategy works best and don't make it too complicated.
All right guys, so this is how you can install the indicators on MetaTrader. Make it simple, not complicated. It will be easier for you to trade. And if you have any questions about how to install MetaTrader indicators, let me know in the comments below. I'll be super happy to answer you. If you have enjoyed the video, thumbs up. And I will see you guys in another video. Take care, see you soon.